So in a recent interview with Hiro Mashima, the creator of Fairy Tale, he finally gives us confirmation, kind of, to why he doesn't kill important characters and it's a little sketchy. So in the recent volume of Shonen whatever manga it is, it's not Shonen Jump, it's Shonen Gangen or something like that, he released an interview statement on why he doesn't kill important characters. So let's hear his side of the story. Age Seal, Vanishing Out of Sight, History of the Dead, they're all types of cheating magic, aren't they? For the enemies this time, the Spriggan 12, I decided they were all going to use cheating magic. Each one is something any author could come up with. But since they would destroy the framework of the story, authors generally choose not to use them. But you're using out the ass this time, buddy. Historia in particular is a setup that I've been holding back for a long time. I personally do like, but he should be dead, plot twists. But a story consistently reinforced into the system where people who die cannot come back to life. That's why I was really torn whether or not I'll use his magic. Ultimately, I decided to convince myself that it's not really like I'm really bringing dead people back to life, so it's okay. So as long as I, in my own mind, say they're not dead, or think they're not dead, they ain't dead. I can bring back whenever the fuck I want. The death of Simon and Ur are very emotional scenes, and I didn't want to undermine them with somebody's magic. I tried my best to handle those scenes with care. Simon was a secondary character who was Urza's childhood friend, and Ur was... Grey's master which led him to have the tragic backstory so in a way that makes sense because that's how these characters develop into who they are and played a big role in their character. For me, nobody who dies comes back to life is an internal rule that's as absolute as like a fairy code. There are some characters that might make people say, hey, he's supposed to be dead, what's he fucking, what the fuck's he doing here? In those cases I'll ask you to use the convenient excuses that they never actually died. If someone's confirmed dead as within the context of the story, I've written it with the full intent that they will never actually be alive again. But there are a lot of characters who, within my own mind, have never been confirmed dead. So please, just let it be and ignore the gray areas. Thank you very much. Okay. So my mind is like a simulator of like, when you're a kid, playing with your buddies, playing like, maybe pretend guns, pretend swords and all that shit. Like, boom! Gotcha, bitch! Uh-uh, I have a shield this whole time, uh-uh. Bitch, you didn't say anything about having a shield? Well, I do now. It's that kind of mentality, you know? While this is his own story, the continually playing with our emotions and saying the characters are dead and gone, within what's happening, and then just saying, I never said they were dead, I'm gonna bring them back later. And later basically means at the end of the chapter or start of the next chapter. While I am glad for this clarification, it's, it's just leaving a sour taste. Like, oh, okay, so if this motherfucker ain't a pile of goop chopped up into bits and pieces, ain't breathing anymore, disintegrated, completely gone, with a statement at the end of Fairy Tales saying, Hiromashima says, He's dead now, don't worry about it. Then if that's not the case, the character ain't dead, expect to see him later on. It's kinda some bullshit. That's his own cheaty magic if you ask me. And looking back to his last series, Rave Master, um, from what I understand, it ended a little sad, a little on a sour note, and he wanted Fairy Tale to be more happy, so apparently that happiness is not actually killing off characters. A little bit of a dick move, man. A little justified, a little bit of some bullshit, but I'm just kinda relieved that we actually got a reason to why important characters aren't killed off and not to get our hopes up next time we see someone die. Die. Parentheses on the die. Shit like this is why Fairy Tale gets so much flack. Anyway, that's all I got for this one. Leave your thoughts below in the comments. And this is Nigel Asakura, signing out. Later.